Hi everybody, this is Julian from AWS. In this video, I would like to announce that we open sourced the bias computation part of Amazon SageMaker Clarify, uh, the service that we just launched at AWS reInvent for bias detection and model explainability. So there's the package on, uh, on GitHub that lets you uh, compute the metrics on your own datasets outside of uh, AWS. Uh, or of course read the source code and, and understand how those metrics are actually computed. So uh, let's do a quick demo. Here's the repository on GitHub. We can start by cloning it. Let's clone this. Okay. And we can install it. Right, hopefully not too many dependencies. Nope. So now we're good, and uh, we have examples here, right? Yes. So let's just run that. Okay. So we see a couple of examples. Let's look at the first one. Let's clean the cells. Okay, so we import the SDK and this uses the same German credit data set that I used in the uh, Clarify um, uh, how-to video that's already online. Okay, so import this. Then we load the data set from, uh, yeah, from the website directly. Set some columns. All right, a thousand rows. Check out some rows. Okay. Plot some uh, future pairs. Okay, well, that's pretty nice. Count foreign workers. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's exactly the same thing I've done. And okay, now we can compute. Um, pre-training metrics so uh, we compute metrics on the data set itself so the facets that we have here is you know foreign worker and we use a group variable for housing uh, and that lets us compute different metrics for the different um, values of that feature okay that's uh, that's another metric you can configure okay so that's simple enough bias report the data set, the facet, the label, yeah, pre-training metrics, and the group variable. Okay. Just run this. This is very small, so it should be fast. Okay, and we, we see the same bias metrics that we saw in uh, in the other video, right? Uh, class imbalance and uh, and uh, yeah, DPL, all the ones that we already discussed. Okay, and we can do the same for the age and print out the report. Yeah, okay, so these are the same values and same examples as the other video. So uh, I think this is useful if you want to uh, work locally and add um, bias metrics to your, uh, your local uh, workflow, your local experiment. And then you can, uh, you can use the same metrics when you train with SageMaker and, and you know it's gonna be the same thing. Right, so this is a really convenient way of doing it. And of course, we could go and look at the code. Let's look at the code. SRC, SM Clarify, bias, metrics, pre-training. Aha, okay. And we see how you know class imbalance is computed. Yes, it's gonna be lots of pandas how DPL is computed, et cetera, et cetera. Pretty cool. So you can see exactly how we compute those. If, you, uh, if you'd rather read code than uh, equations, which is my case, uh, <laughs> this is actually helping a lot. Okay. All right. So, uh, you know, try it out. Uh, let me know what you think. Feel free to contribute. Uh, feel free to send pull requests or issues. Uh, you know, the maintainers will certainly appreciate your contribution. And, uh, and make sure to star this repo and keep an eye on it. 
um, I'm sure you know more features will be added to this okay well that's it for this uh, nice open source announcement on SageMaker Clarify see you soon bye bye